Hallelujah. This morning, I'm so glad I'm in the house of the Lord talking about God. But this God I'm talking about, many of us don't know him. But through the scriptures, we will know him and understand him. Praise the Lord. It's the scriptures that reveal God attentively for you to know. Other than that, the God that you know, I can say it's an idol. Creatures of God. You know them more than God. And you are serving them. And through that, you are lost. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to make this known to you. That if you don't serve God in spirit and in truth, and you are looking out to his creation, be it the moon, called moon God, sun, sun God, be it the star, star God, or river, sea, mountain, animals, birds, fish, fish and you make them to give you a way to serve God. You are worshiping an idol. And God hates idol because it replaces him. Idols replace God in the life of his creation. His desire is that we must know him as God and worship him as God. For his God is a spirit. God is a word and he reveals himself in three dimensions. God, the Father. Sorry. God, the word which is known as the Son. God, the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Father God, I thank you and I bless you. As we enter this phase of preaching the word of God, teaching the word of God, I pray that Holy Spirit will help me and help my hearers that they will hear the truth about you, God. For many are lost in knowing you. They are serving images. They are worshiping images instead of you. But you have revealed yourself in your son, Jesus Christ, that he will come to Jesus Christ. The Father will be revealed. The Holy Spirit will be revealed through Jesus Christ. And in him, we live and move and have our being. I thank you and I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This morning, I want to talk about a man who wrote about the book of Genesis. Until end up in Deuteronomy. Moses. Moses. When you think about Moses. What he wrote. About Genesis. Revealing God. And creation to us. You have to know that God. Is marvelous. God. Is marvelous. God. It's marvelous. I've been pondering about creation. I'm of age now to know many things now that they will not be hidden to me. How God placed those things in the mind of Moses to write down for us to know and through with the scientists, the engineers, the mathematicians, to know about God and begin to develop things, invent things, manufacture things. But for the sake of what the devil did in the garden, man turned his back Apparently on God. Man turned his back on God. All this is the work of the devil. But I just want to remind us, myself including, God is marvelous, is awesome. If you know him like that, worshiping God, serving God will not be difficult for you. But if you don't know him through the study of the word of God, you will still be doubting him and be bowing to images thinking you are serving God. God called a man 
And that man, as of now, is known as the friend of God, Abraham. The father of faith. But in other words, he's known as the friend of God. When God called him, he doesn't know God. As a matter of fact, nobody know God. Until they called, man. Until we be and continue, nobody has seen God. The Father, except the Son, who saw Him, He knew Him, who was revealing to us. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord God, my team, talk with Moses on the mount and the wickedness of the children of Israel. When they were out of Egypt, what they were doing, God was angry with them. Hmm. But at the point in time, God talked to God. God talked to Moses. As man talked to his neighbor. Praise the Lord. Hmm. Yeah. I want to start by opening the book of Exodus, chapter 33. Exodus chapter 33. Let me start reading from verse 8. What does it mean? Exodus chapter 33, reading from verse 8. We are going to look at certain things that I have summarized before reading. And it came to pass, verse 8, when Moses went out unto the tabernacle, that all the people rose up and stood every man of his tent door at his tent door and looked after Moses until he was gone into the tabernacle. Verse 9. And it came to pass as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord talked with Moses. Hallelujah, my team. Mm -hmm. And all the people saw the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door. And all the people rose up and worshiped every man in his tent door. And the Lord spake unto Moses again, face to face, as a man speaketh unto his friend. And he turned again into the camp. But his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. And Moses said unto the Lord, See, thou sayest unto me, Bring up these people, and thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. Verse 13. Now therefore I pray thee, Moses, if I have found grace in thy sight, Show me now thy way, and I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight. And consider that this nation is thy people. And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, Moses is saying, Carry us not up hence. For wherein shall I be known? Shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth? And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken for thou hast found grace again in my sight and I know thee by name and he said I beseech thee show me thy glory hallelujah and he said I will make all my goodness pass before thee and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee and I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. Hallelujah. Amen. We heard this already. Yes. And I will show mercy mm -hmm. 
on whom I will show mercy. And he said, Thou canst, thou canst not see me. Thou cannot see my face. For there shall no man see me and live. Listen to that place carefully. Yep. And he said, verse 26, verse, uh, verse, verse 20. And he said, ah, Thou cannot see my face. For there shall no man see me and live. Hmm. And the Lord said, Behold, there's a place by me. And thou shalt stand upon a rock. And it shall come to pass while my glory passes by. And I will put thee in the cliff of the rock. And I will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. And I will take my I will, and I will take away my hand, and thou shalt see my back part, and thou shalt see my back part, but my face shall not be seen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This thing I read, I'm going to explain it little by little for you to understand. Mm -hmm. This God that we are talking about, he said nobody will see him and live. Okay. And up to now, it has not been recorded in the Bible that no, somebody has seen God see his face and know who he is and live. Moses is the one that got closer to God to see. But what part does he say? He says his back part. His face he has not seen. I've been talking about God. Theologians have been talking about God. They have been explaining about God. But God is not multiple. It's one God. But out of him come the Father God, the Word or the Son God, and the Holy Spirit God. These three are out of God. These three personalities are out of God. And they are to work on behalf of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is almighty. He's all powerful. He's all knowing. But to make it known to the world. For man desires, I want to know who God is. I want to see God. But God said in this word, nobody will see me, my face. And live. Okay. Praise the Lord. Okay. It's by faith yep. that we are serving God. But He placed it in our hearts mm -hmm. that we should have a desire to worship God and to love God. That's why in the garden, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. When I think about this thing, thank God for Jesus. Yes. What Lucifer now, the devil, did to our forefathers, Adam and Eve in the garden. It's a blunder. Terrible thing. Terrible thing. Thinking about this, the man will be deceived and he will turn his back on God. That what God told him as a commandment, thou shall not eat that fruit of that tree in the middle of the garden. The day you eat it, you will surely die. But this devil, Satan, who rebelled in the kingdom of God and he was fired, who is an enemy of God and man. There is be an enemy to God is nothing to God. That's it. But to man, he managed mm -hmm. to deceive man, lie to man. Yeah. For as the Bible says, he is the father of all lies. Mm -hmm. He's a liar from the very beginning. beginning yeah. He doesn't speak any truth. Yeah, truth and he's yeah. doing it now. See the number of people that is deceived. See the number of people that he deceived. As now. See where he's leading, leading them to. I heard this morning. God is righteous. God is just. God is holy. He doesn't play with judgment. For that reason, God will at all costs punish sin. Of course, he must. 
When I think about this, she agreed me. That's right. That I should make myself ready. Right, that I should behave the way God prescribed in the scriptures. So that I don't get into conflict with God through punishment. I want people to know there are two places outside this world we are living in. We have a place called heaven, eternal life. We have a place called lake of fire, hell, eternal hell. These two places, once you are alive on planet Earth, work at your own salvation if you are troubling. So that you don't enter into the lake of fire, the hell fire, but get to where God out of his own volition prepare for you that you should come. People are saying it's only you eat, drink, and be, and, and be dead. <laughs> and, be and, die, right? and after that, that's it. <laughs> there is a life after this life. There's a place you might be accountable to. But if you don't live life, hallelujah, <laughs> to his son Jesus Christ, you don't have the mind of Christ Jesus to live for God to his son Jesus Christ. You cannot make it to eternal life. That's why I'm so serious about this. Yes. I'm preaching that you should hear this so that it will quicken you in your heart mm -hmm. that you give your life to Jesus Christ. You accept him as your personal Savior and Lord. Mm. Confess him. It's a free thing. Mm. When you confess him, you are not worshiping the pastor or the bishop. Mm -hmm. You are serving God through Jesus Christ. Because God revealed himself through his son Jesus Christ. Mm. He is a Messiah. He is a Savior. He is a Deliverer. Is a redeemer. And there are many ways he's working for us. But it's only left to us to accept him as our personal Savior and Lord. That our sins will be washed away through the blood that he shed on the cross of Calvary. That's what we're talking about. Amen. This. Amen. For God, who we have not seen before, the scripture said, God talked with Moses face to face, face, to face mm -hmm. as a man. Will talk to his friend face to face. Are you still in doubt that there is God? People are in doubt of the existence of God, but that's a lie to yourself, not to anybody. Yourself, you are deceiving yourself. Your conscience is telling you that there is God, but you are in denial of your conscience. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What am I, why am I so conscious about this to tell you this? Why well, am I so serious to tell you this? Because the days in which you are, are evil. The coming of the end is at hand. Near, it's near, yes. The return of our Lord Jesus Christ is at hand. Hmm. You might say that, oh, we have heard this thing. That is this and this and that. Since the days of old, it has not happened. But let me tell you this. If you die today, Jesus Christ has come for you. But are you ready to enter the eternal life? Oh. What life are you living? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If God will punish sin, then nobody can run away from punishment. Because what I heard this morning, God, for his own holiness, his righteousness, his loving his own self, and the judgment, just in that he prevailed, Inside, before his God, the all things are at place. He plays them that they are there working. Then God will not spare sinners. God will not spare those who rejected him. God will not spare those who turn his back on him. But those who turn unto him, he will favor. He will accept into his kingdom. Praise the Lord. Amen. I believe God is a spirit. God is the word. Therefore, whether I see him or not, I see him not, I have seen his son Jesus Christ. Love. To him, I know there is existence of God. 
and he did all things by his word. Mm -hmm. Because God is the word. God is love. Praise the Lord. As we are talking here this morning, many people don't know about God. As I heard this morning, I know who God is now. Amen. <laughs> we heard in the statement that I read, Ezra chapter 33, from verse 8 to this, it said that God spoke to Moses. But my question to you, have you heard the Lord God talk with you before? Hmm. Some of you say yes. Some of you say no. But God is speaking through his word. He's speaking through his servants. You are hearing them. But the next thing you have to do is to obey and believe in him. That he is a creator. Many people are saying, when you ask them, who created you? Some of them will dodge the question. Say, my mother, my father. Who created your mother, your father? Say, my grandfather, my grandfather. And when it comes to Adam and Eve, they are lots of ways. God, who created all things, Adam and Eve, God created them, both male and female. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Never at all be in doubt of God be your creator. But now if you believe God is your creator, there's a way that you worship God through. And that you call Jesus, his teachings, his doctrines, mm -hmm. revealing the Father to us. That who has seen me has seen the Father. There should be no doubt in your mind whether God existed or not. God existed. Nobody has seen before. But let me tell you, if Jesus Christ said, that he, is, he, is. he is in the beginning. He is with the Father. And I am with the Father. Then, you must believe it. Yes. The quest of man has been satisfied by the emergence of Jesus Christ. And he spoke about the Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Every child God gave birth to, to the mother, has got a father, has got a mother. They don't know where they were until the, the parents win them. They grew up and become Wisdom, conscious, conscious people about life. But if after this, you are beginning to search who is God, mm -hmm. you must go to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And when you go to the scriptures, you will know who you are. The yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Many people are in doubt. They follow some man's philosophy. Wisdom. Which God gave man to dress this world and keep it. They turn about, follow people's wisdom, and say that they, that, that is what they believe in. That is their God. Hey. But God not like is not in the wisdom of man. Not like it's not in the philosophy of man. It's in the wisdom of himself Amen. through his son, Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is marvelous. God is marvelous. As I'm teaching this word now, I'm going to open. I'm going to ask you to open with me to the book of Corinthians, First Corinthians, chapter two. First Corinthians, chapter two. We want to know something about God, so that when it comes to worshiping God, it will not be difficult for you. First Corinthians chapter 2. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 through 16. Let's hear something from there. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. 
for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually descend. But he that is spiritual, judge all things, yet he himself is not judge of any man, no man. For who has known the mind of the Lord God, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Praise the Lord. God put things in the scriptures that to know him, we will discover him in the scriptures. We are being in doubt of who God is and should it be so. Even children, as they hear from their parents, they begin to ask of God, 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 God. And some of them dream and they see marvelous things. Oh, this morning, I read something. How marvelous is the word yes. in all the earth. In thy wisdom, thou created them. The whole earth is full of your glory and your riches. Praise the Lord. That's who God is. Who can tell me that apart from God, he has deposited gold in the earth. He has given bauxite in the earth. He has given crude oil in the earth. Who can say that? Who can say that the atmosphere in which we see the air that blow. Who has seen it before? But we use that to create things. Yes. Today, in Zimbabwe, a guy through engineering, science of everything, which God, he is praising God. I know. He is praising God. That guy. He said, God gave him and he's creating car who is using fuel by using atmosphere, the air, radioactive. Yeah, heard about that. Mm -hmm. Whose wisdom is that? God. God's wisdom. Amen. Hmm. He creates things that can charge battery. And when the car is in the battery, the battery will not die. It will continue charging. How do you do it? It's not with any other oil, or electricity, or that. That's God's wisdom. When I tell you that, we have not seen anything of God yet. But we say we are this and that. But they said, in the last days in which we are, knowledge shall be on the increase. And knowledge is be on the increase. People from California want to go investigate what that man is doing there. They saw it themselves. And they verified that it's true. Mm -hmm. These are the people of science, engineering, technology, everything. That's the wisdom of God. But that guy, I remember, is praising God, saying, It is God, it is God, it is God. That's what God demands from us. That every wisdom that He gave to us to dress this earth, this world, and keep it, the glory might be given to Him. Mm -hmm. People are staying away from God, giving the glory to inanimate things. You know who God is? God said, I am a jealous God. My glory I share with nobody. For my name is what? Jealous. Amen. Jealous. See that? God said, My name is jealous. As a matter of fact, when I think about God now, I reverence Him. When I say I reverence him, I love him, I respect him, I obey him. Because people said, when you say you fear God, that reminds me you are afraid of God. No, I reverence God. His instruction, I promise you obey. Stay away from the appearance of evil. That when the time comes that he calls me, I shall be ready with him. Ready, ready, ready. Hallelujah. Amen. For what shall he profit the man? If he shall gain this whole world and lose his own and disobedience to God's word. As I started earlier on, I said, this Bible, Genesis of this Bible, which God gave to Moses to write down. Moses was not 
even conceive in the belly. But God gave that wisdom, understanding to Moses, to write about Genesis. Who, who can do that? Only God. Who Only can God. do that? None but God. Hmm. For the Moses to write, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, say, In the beginning, God created heaven and earth, and the earth were without form, and void, and darkness upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light, it is good. It was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness night. And evening and morning were the first days. Thinking about this. This is the first statement Moses wrote. Where was Moses? To know all these things. Before we come to the book of Exodus, when God told Abraham, when he called him out of his father's house, when the whole world was in turmoil, we returned to the devil's side, worshiping idols. Abraham was in his father was there, was carving images, idols, selling to people. But God went to that house and called Abraham. If God can call Abraham from that place, then he can call me also from my house who doesn't know God. Human beings. We're in disobedience to God from the very beginning. Look at Adam and Eve. When they disobey God, they have not repented towards God. They were hiding because they saw their nakedness. If you are hiding from God, your nakedness is causing you. But if you are with God, obey Him. The glory of God will cover your nakedness. Hallelujah. And you cannot be hiding. You will be in love with God. Because God first loved us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at the sons of Adam and Eve. Because of their sin nature, the first child they gave birth to Cain and his brother fell after him. Because they have not repented, their child has become dervish. If you go confronted, Cain, what you want to do? You have power over it to stop it. But Cain went ahead. What has he done? He fell upon his brother, killed him, the first mother on planet F. Sin, God will not fail to punish. God is righteous. God is holy. God is true. That's why you will punish sin at all costs. Those of you who are walking in sin, say, I heard a renowned president, the son, say something on the TV as a commercial. I don't believe in God. I'm at this. Come and join me. Come and join me. For me, I'm not afraid of burning hell. Say this. A president's son of this nation America said this on He's radio. Hell, eh? <laughs> He's not afraid to burn in hell. <laughs> hey, do you know how that place is? Do you know how that place is? <laughs> I pray for you that your mind changes from that statement, blasphemy, and ask for forgiveness of sin so that when the time comes, you will not spend eternity in hell. He said, you are not afraid to burn in hell. It's a place you will not contemplate to be. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I want to talk now that our God is revealing himself in our time. That we must accept him. That's why this message is coming out. God spoke to Moses face by face. As a friend would talk to his friend. Face by face. 
It means that God is there. Present. Present. Uh -huh. And still talking. Mm -hmm. People are hearing his voice. People are hearing his voice through their ears. People are seeing signs of him, but not himself. Anytime God wants to do something, he reveals himself to angels. Mm -hmm. So that they will speak to you. Today, God is revealing himself through his son, Jesus Christ. Yes. So that if you have seen Jesus Christ, yes, you have seen the Father, Amen. and you have seen God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's open to the book of John, chapter 14. John, chapter 14. I want to read something from there. John chapter 14. Let me read from verse 1 to 18. We get some. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 some from it. Yes. John wrote about Jesus. He said, verse 1 says, Let not your heart be troubled. He believed in God. I'm talking about. Believe also in me. Jesus was speaking. In my father's house are many mansions. If you were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go, ye know. And the way you know. Verse 5. Thomas, as any of us, who ask. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether you go, thou goest, and can, and how can we know the way? Verse 6. Jesus said unto him, Hallelujah, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. If you have known me, you should have known my Father also. And for henceforth, you know him. And have seen him. Verse 8. Another disciple. Philip said unto him. Lord show us the father. And he would suffice us. Jesus said unto him. Have I been so long time with you. And yet has thou not known me. Hmm. Philip. He that has seen me. Has seen the father. Hear that again. I mean, he that has seen me. Has seen the father. Has seen the father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and how say thou? Then show us the Father. Believe that. Believe thou, not that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that has dwelt in me, he does the works. The Father that has dwelt in me, he does the work. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Or else, believe, him, believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, very I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whosoever and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandment. For I will pray, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, talking about the Holy Spirit, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not, neither knoweth him. But you know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be with you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Praise the Lord. Let me stop there. Amen. Knowing God, it's only through Jesus Christ. 
I want to say this. No philosopher, no other religious leader, a prophet who has come to pass and establish a religion has known the Father. But Jesus Christ and his followers, the disciples, the apostles, by which the first Christianity has started, which is called the follower of Jesus Christ. They are known as Christians because the Bible said they were first called in Antioch Christians because they were behaving like Christ. Let the mind that was in Christ Jesus be you that you can also behave like Christ that when you die, you will find the way, the truth, and the life and go to the kingdom of God. Amen. Because there's a place when you die, when you live on the earth, you will find to go. Amen. You're not going to be at a, a merry ground. There's two places you must contend for. And that the presence of the Lord, Jesus Christ. Or the devil who has brought chaos into this world, who has deceived Adam and Eve through which you are suffering, that your suffering will not cease until you confess Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord and begin to live for him in spirit and in truth, in righteousness. Other than that, you are just wasting your time. You are just wasting your time. There's something about God. He loves us so much. But I learned this morning. God loves himself first. Before he loves you. That's right. If he loves himself and loves you, then you better believe in him. Be on his side. But if you become stubborn, arrogant, defiant, say so no, obey the voice of God. You don't listen to his prophets, his apostles, his teachers, his pastors. Be woe unto you. Woe unto you. There are many ways people are serving God. People are saying that it's not only one way that you can go back to God the Father. But let me tell you two things now. We have two things in the world. We have relative truth, which is of the world. But absolute truth is of Christ. Amen. There's something called absolute. I know you understand that. There's something called relative. Relative, relative in many ways. And those ways are different from the way of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The word of God. The Son of God, who is among the Godhead, testifying in heaven. He said, I am the way, the truth, the truth the and the life. Mm -hmm. No man coming unto God the Father that except me. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. You want to know about God? Come to Jesus. You want to see God? Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. If you have seen God, Jesus Christ, you have seen the Father. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a way that seems right unto you. But sometimes lead to the way of death. The Bible said, there's a way that seems right unto a man, but it's the way of death and destruction. But if you come to Jesus Christ, that way shall be to God and not to destruction. Not to destruction. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I'm coming to the end of our message, open the book of 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5. Hallelujah. We are going to start reading from verse 8. But before we go to 8, let me read from verse 7. That's where the Godhead is revealed. Those who are in doubt of Godhead, the Trinity, that's why Godhead is revealed. And in the Godhead, you hear about these three personalities. They are the manifestation of God into the world. Verse 7 said, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the spirit realm, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. 
I'm talking about the Godhead. I'm telling you, God is one. The heart of God manifests the Father, the Son, which is the Word, and the Holy Ghost, who is the Comforter, who Jesus has promised to send to us. And the Holy Ghost, who is at work now as I'm standing here talking, has not finished his assignment. No. Nope. All powers committed into his hand, to, into, into the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. And receive instruction from the Father and the Son and reveal to us. And help us by the Holy Spirit. That when we are in the trouble, he becomes our comforter. When we are in trouble, we hear him speak to us. Audibly, we hear in our ears. He brings dreams into our dreams that we can know what to do. Holy Spirit go in front of us. And when we are in the trouble, he releases his angels ahead of us. And they come in human form. They finish the assignment and they go back. As was in the days when Mary will receive the word from the angel, Gabriel. Angel Gabriel, Angel Gabriel, Angel Gabriel, who brought the message to the Virgin Mary, came in a human form. Mm -hmm. He wasn't an angel, as people describe angel, he got wings, he's white dressed in this summer. He came as a human form and spoke to Mary. The same angel, when you are a child of God, you are in trouble, will go ahead of you and deliver you. He says, I saw a man. You can describe him. But after he has finished his assignment, he's gone back. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. When you remember Manoah, Manoah, and the wife, Samson's mother, Samson's father, they were burdened. But when the time has come, that they should give birth to a judge in the land of Israel. The angel came and demonstrated. Hallelujah. He came in a human form. Spoke to them. When they heard it, they were surprised. They were, they were in doubt. And they were asking, what can, we sh what can you show us? As that you are true, man of God, that this thing you are spoken to us, it will come to pass. That when it comes to pass, we will know. We'll know. Mm -hmm. So why are you asking me that? Yeah. Okay, wait here. I will make a sacrifice for you. If you are a man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. God has got ministry angels. They are ministry spirits. They minister to believers. They minister to people. And when they are ministering to you, they are in human form. The only time that you know is that the way they left you, that you know that yes, this year, this ministry spirit, they have come to do a summit of God. Yes. But let me say this: as Moses spoke with God, as man speaks to his friend, I want you to take this: that God is real. God is real. And the people of old, when they saw it, the children of Israel saw it, they know something was happening. God came as a cloudy pillar and stand at the tabernacle of congregation as Moses entered. And God spoke the head, but they didn't see God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is there. God is resistance. Mm -hmm. he, cry, he, he carry phenomenal power that is doing things on our behalf. Why should we be doubting God and turn away from God and go and be worshiping images? No making any sense. Huh? Hmm. What is wrong with your mind? Mm -hmm. This morning I'm losing your mind through the word of God. Hallelujah. That you know who God is. Yes. As example of Moses. That God spoke to Moses face to face as man 
speak to his friend. Don't be in doubt. And be like those people who said there's no God. I'm at this. I'm not afraid to burn in hell. <laughs> that word must be taken away from him so that you become a child of God. Because every blasphemy that you blaspheme, you will know God's suffering. Every word of us that doesn't glorify God, we shall be judged by it, the Bible said. Therefore, I watch how I speak. I don't use four words this time. I don't use provocative words this time. I seize in my words before I speak. But I pray God, those who are listening to me, if you are in that state, there's a way open to you through the word of God. Jesus Christ is the way. No other way. Any other way that you are seeing that is a way for you or you can get away with your lifestyle, God will judge it because it's not the way of God. Amen. The way of God is through Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Savior, the Lord. Out of the Godhead, Jesus Christ alone, he came to reveal himself to the world. Father was in the spirit. The Holy Ghost is spirit. But Jesus Christ, he incarnate God. He incarnate God. Therefore, if you hear Jesus Christ speaking to you, it's God speaking to you. That's why they call them God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Emmanuel, God with us, was what the prophecy said. A virgin shall conceive, shall give up to a son. His name shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God, in his last days, speaking through his son. And we are the messengers of the son today. He spoke through his son. And he made disciples for himself. We are the disciples of Jesus Christ to speak the truth to the world. No matter how we are speaking, whether we are professional or not, we are just speaking the truth about Jesus Christ. That if you hear this, you heard it at your heart, you will be saved. For the Bible said, there's no other name given among men on planet Earth through whom, through which man can be saved from Adamic sin, through which we are all become sinners, except through Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. For God loved us so much that he gave Jesus Christ up. Yeah. That through his blood, through our confession, through our belief, through our faith, we might be saved. Might be saved. How do we get saved? That blood that is shed on the cross of Calvary will wash your sins away. Amen. Your spiritual sins away. Many of you are carrying sins in your bodies. But these sins are spiritual. It's not a garment you put off. It's not a filth you take off. It's a spiritual sin that is putting you down. That is weighing you down. That is making you sick. That is making you weak. But if you believe in this Jesus Christ, as in the days of all, it's a better ways you will do that I have done. Mm. You will cast out demons from people. Demons are in people. And they are doing worse things. Mm. People are commi committing suicides. How did it happen? Demon is in their mind. It's in their heart. But the very day they will confess Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. Jesus Christ through the blood will wash those things away and you will be saved. And you be yourself. Hallelujah. Many things come to people's mind when they are in trouble. Mm -hmm. The last thing the devil will do to you is that commit suicide. Mm -hmm. Kill yourself. Mm -hmm. Jump into fire. Jump into river. Jump from the bridge and die. But when you die, the devil will leave you. Your soul will go and give an account for why you have done that. That time, the devil will not be with you. Mm -hmm. You say, I've deceived you. I lied to you. I want to remind you, if you are doing anything to please the devil, you are a slave to the devil. Yes. 
You are bound by the devil. Mm -hmm. But I say, there's a way it can be set free. There's a way you can be set free. And that way is Jesus Christ. And when you convert Jesus Christ as a person of your Lord, don't be lazy. Don't procrastinate. Don't give excuses. For he has come to deliver you. He has come to deliver me. Mm -hmm. I want to say that I am delivered. I am on my way into eternal life. Amen. No matter what you are thinking about me, I am on my way. I am on my way to eternal life because I have seen something about Jesus Christ. Amen. I've received him in a way that the Bible is saying, and I know that is the truth, mm -hmm. the absolute truth. I want to remind you, don't believe in relative truth. That relative truth belongs to religion. And religion, religiosity kills. But relationship with God through Jesus Christ is absolute truth. And only that one can save you. Many things are going wrong now. The world is changing things. The world is changing things. If you are not careful, you will be content with the lies of the devil. And if you get content with the lies of the devil, you are doomed. Fight the lies of the devil by following the, really, uh, the, the absolute truth, which is through Jesus Christ. For I said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto God the Father except me. If you want to go to God the Father, believe in the absolute truth through Jesus Christ. That's the only thing. It's as simple as that. Hmm. But if you are lazy, you are in denial because of your loss of the eye, the loss of the flesh, and part of life, you are doomed and you'll be dumb. And you say, oh, how do I know? I have heard this. Many people are living now. But guess where? Where are they going? Are they ready to enter eternal life? Or they are sorry for going to hell. Ah! Once you are on earth, do something about Jesus Christ. Many people are working hard to save money, to build houses, to buy a car, marrying, all kind of things. But they don't have plan for their eternal life. Their eternal life. Their eternal life. You hear me yelling. Hmm. I want you to hear it so hey. that you turn to God. Through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Many people say there are many ways to God. It's a lie. Mm -hmm. It's a lie. Many people are lying. To you. Through their religion. Let me say this. Religiosity kills. Only relationship. Through Jesus Christ. Saves. As you see me. Speaking here. I'm not a religious man. But that's how the word describes faith, religion. I'm a relational man to Jesus Christ. I have a relationship to God, to Jesus Christ. That's why I am confident if something happened to me today, I am on my way to eternal life. Amen. But what about you? What about you hearing me? Hear me and hear me right. Hear me and hear me right. Turn to Jesus Christ. The one who suffered on your behalf. The Lamb of God that take away the sins of Adam and Eve and this world is the one I'm talking about. I'm not selling the product, but I'm talking about your salvation. Let the mercy of God locate you where you are. Amen. That you can make that decision for the Lord and stay inside. Don't look back. Don't look back because Jesus was said, He who has followed me and looking back is not fit for my kingdom, will not be my disciple. You can't put your hand on a hole to plow and turn to, to, uh, and turn back. Nope. You are not fit for the kingdom. Mm -mm. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. And as you are changed and your sins are forgiven. You are the, earth, the kingdom of God. Go on. Carry on. Don't look back. 
For the devil is behind you to deceive you. He hates you. The devil hates you. Satan hates you. Satan hates you. But Jesus loves you. That's why he died on our behalf and he shed that sins of blood for the forgiveness of our sin. The Father accepted it when he resurrected because you have done nothing wrong. But for the sake of the blood, sins of blood that will wash away the sins of those who believe in your death, that's why you die. But on the third day, hallelujah, the glory of God, the Holy Spirit, opened the tomb and raised up, raised him up with a different body. And he came out. For three days, he walked on planet Earth. Show you what the disciples will do after he's taken away into his father's bosom and the father's house, where we'll be sitting at the right hand of God the Father, making intercession for us. As in the days of Stephen. Mm. When Stephen had been stoned for telling the Israelites, the Jewish people, the truth about their beginning. Telling them about their genesis. How they end up in Egypt. They were in bondage for 430 years. But when the time came, God sent this same Moses who God spoke to face to face and delivered them. But yes, sir, idolatry, idol worship is in the midst of them after they came out from Egypt, crossed the Red Sea. Many miracles that God did through Moses, but they didn't convince them because of no change heart. The heart must be changed. The heart must be changed. For the Bible said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. But if you don't change your heart, whatever you speak will be evil. Therefore, I pray, God will touch you. I want to remind you of God. Open with me to Psalm 104, verse 24. How David <laughs> managed to speak wonderful things about God. Hallelujah. Psalm 104, verse 24. Look at the Psalm of David. As I, as you, it's my Psalm today. It's my prayer today. He said, Oh Lord, how manifold are the ways in wisdom. Has thou made them all? The earth is full of your riches. So is a great and wild sea, wherein are things creeping, innumerable, both small and great. Look at these two verses that he said. It's so wonderful. How manifold are thy works? In wisdom has thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. So is this great and wild sea when in our things creeping, innumerable, both small and great. Who can claim this title? But he has created all these things. The things that are in the sea, they are great, innumerable. The things that are on the earth, those things that are in the earth, beneath the earth, they are manifold. Mm -hmm. Let's take God serious. Yes. Let's value God. Let's surrender to him. I pray this message touch somebody. Amen. You repent. Confess God. And have faith in Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father, for the word. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Amen. Father God, I thank you one more time. The word has gone out. Those who have ears, the Bible says, let them hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the churches and saying to those Gentiles. I pray God is saying to those Jewish people that they will know Jesus Christ. When we talk about God, we are talking about Jesus. When we present God, we are presenting Jesus. Jesus Christ 
is the incarnation of God, the manifestation of God on earth. So far, if you know Jesus Christ, you know the way, you know the truth, you know the life. And it's the light of the world. I pray God, light will shine in their hearts that they will live for you. Thank you for hearing me. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God.